Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to one of my favorite kinds of videos to film and what I hope is one of your favorite kind of videos to watch and that is a packing video. I am getting ready to leave in two days for Walt Disney World for a five night trip including the Walt Disney World Princess 10K and Half Marathon. That's right, I'm doing the Fairy Tale Challenge. So behind me is all of the stuff that I'm taking. I'm gonna show you how I prepare to get ready for a weekend like this and then for a few more days after to kind of just relax and do some park touring. And guess what? I'm really glad you're here. Okay, before I get into this, if you would like to support the channel, there are several ways you can do that down in the description box. For as little as $3, you can buy me a cup of coffee, and that really does all go towards the operating expenses of keeping both of my channels running. And also, if you're not already subscribed, why aren't you? Please make sure you subscribe. Hit those little bell notifications. It won't cost you a thing, and it really will help me out. I would consider it a personal favor. Okay, let's get started. So normally before I start filming these videos, I'm pretty much packed. Like I am super organized already and have everything ready to go. Less so this time. I don't know how this happened, but this trip kind of just snuck up on me. I have been, however, gathering things together. If you watched the video I did over on the Joyful Living channel, you know that I have this kind of go box of stuff specific to the races that I've just been kind of flinging in that plastic tote, trying to remember everything. One big tip I have for you guys is try not to pack the day before, and here's why. If when I'm packing today, so it's Wednesday as I'm filming this, I find some last minute things that I have forgotten, I still have time to go to the drugstore or Target or even order on Amazon Prime and get those things before my trip. It is very stressful for me uh, and probably for you to find out you know, at 10 o'clock the night before I leave for a trip the next morning that I am missing something really vital and it not only causes me some emotional stress, but it usually ends up costing me some money because I'll have to either have those things overnighted to me or buy them down there, which is usually more expensive than getting it here at home. So yeah, I just find that my headspace is much calmer if I can give myself that extra day in between packing up to leave and actually leaving for the trip. Now, it is five nights, but I'm not packing as many clothes as you might think because one of the fun things about Run Disney races is they give you a shirt for each event. And in our case, we'll have a shirt for the 10K, a shirt for the half marathon, and then we'll have a fairy tale princess, fairy tale princess, no, fairy tail challenge shirt because we're completing both races. So that's three shirts that not only I'll have to wear while I'm down there, but I also need to leave a little bit of room to bring back. I don't anticipate doing a lot of shopping. A lot of you know I am doing a low buy year this year. I haven't really talked about it much on the channel, but I really am watching how many things I'm purchasing. So I don't feel like I need to leave a ton of room to bring stuff back, but I will have a few things that I'll pick up that are just given. And then of course I'll need to make room for my race medals, which, you know, knock on wood, we will be coming back with three separate medals and I'll need to make room for those. So let's get started. I think I've done a pretty good job. I don't know. Let's see. And, and I have to be honest, I'm really not sure that all this is going to fit in a carry on. So then I'll either have to make the decision to check a bag or make some hard choices about what's here behind me. But I don't know. Let's see what happens. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it! Okay, here is the organized chaos. Um, everything that you see here, I am hoping to fit into my bags. I know I am doubtful as well, because keep in mind, I also need to pack three pairs of shoes and my flip-flops, although I'll be wearing one pair on the plane. So two pairs of shoes and my flip-flops. Uh, some things that are specific to race weekend, I have some throwaway clothes here. I have a throwaway sweatshirt and a throwaway fleece. It is going to be kind of chilly and perhaps, perhaps windy on the morning of the 10K. So those will be comfort items that will be for me in the corral. We are in one of the later corrals, so we're going to be there a minute. So I've also packed in this bag 
specific things to the race itself, things I will need to be carrying with me for the race. So in here, and again, you can go check out my other video for more on that, but I've got my body glide, which isn't, I won't be carrying that with me, but I wanted it with my race stuff. I've got hand warmers, which are great for in the corrals. I'll be bringing gloves that are in this mess somewhere. I've got antibacterial wipes for porta potties. I've got tissues. I've got my noon hydration tablets and my Biscoff cookies. And I think, yeah, that's everything that is in there. This pile is my just regular clothes. So this is what I'll be wearing for pajamas. And then I've just got three shirts and three pairs of shorts and then my jeans and literally that's all i'm bringing keep in mind we do have a washer and a dryer and my friends will be fine with repeat outfits so i'm not too worried about that um this should be over with my toiletries this stack here i have my of course i'm so excited to be here sweatshirt because you have to wear your own merch when you're in disney world if you would like to purchase this hoodie which i absolutely love it is down in my merch shop which you should see at the bottom of your screen but it will also be in the description box and then also my half marathon sweatshirt. I am probably going to wear this on the plane. Friday when we get there, it's going to be super chilly. And then we get into the pile of race outfits. Now for the 10K, we are going as the three fairies from Sleeping Beauty. So one of us is make it green, that would be me. Coral is make it pink and Sarah is make it blue. And because I am lazy for the half marathon, I am going as Tinkerbell. So I'm wearing the same sparkle skirt for both races. I usually don't need to wash these. If I do for some reason though, I can do that in the villa. I will wear leggings underneath this skirt and then I will wear the same skirt for both races. I've also got here this white jacket because I think for the 10K, I'm gonna end up wanting to wear a jacket the entire race, which is kind of a bummer from the outfit you know, perspective, but I would rather be comfortable than worry about the outfit. So I'm definitely gonna pack that. And then I have these, oh, I'm not even taking this. See, this is why we have these conversations. This is because I was considering going as Mrs. Incredible for the half marathon. Um, this is my Mrs. Incredible outfit that comes with these uh, black sleeves, but I'm fairly sure I'm not gonna do that. So I don't know. I may pack it anyway in case I change my mind. And then I have uh, two pairs of Capri leggings, and not leggings, Capri, um, what do I wanna say? Just capris, I guess, running capris that have pockets in them. So I have plenty of room. I will also have on the race course my Nathan water bottle so I can have my noon in there. The other thing I love is it gives me another little pocket to store things in. Okay, moving on to other things like toiletries. There's my glasses, there's some socks. I have so much. See, this is so you guys know, I'm not always as organized as I seem. Uh, over here, I have my liquids bag started. I'll still have a couple more things I need to add to that. One thing that's always a nice thing to bring, and that is four ounces, but I've never been caught with that, so I think we're okay. Um, if you're sharing a bathroom with other people, bring a little room freshener. It's not a bad idea. And then I have, this came from one of you on Instagram, and I will put the username of who told me about this on the bottom. But she calls it her runner's pharmacy. And I thought that was such a brilliant idea because it's all of the things that I might need while I'm down there as a runner. So I've actually labeled these, don't laugh. This one has Advil in it. If you're wondering how to recycle your noon hydration canisters, this is a great way. I've got Advil in here. I've got Tums in here. And then I've got some anti-gas medicine. I've got some Imodium. I've got an, a thing of Afrin. I've got... Uh, my allergy pills, I've got some other stomach medicine, there are Band-Aids in here, I've got Mucinex in here, basically to be prepared for any and all calamities that might befall us. <laughs> so either for me or for my friends that I'm traveling with, we're good to go. This is from my sweet friend, Jess, who is um, Okla Roots, and she made this for me. Is that the cutest thing you ever saw? And in here I have just my regular makeup, my non-liquid makeup. I'm packing my packable down jacket. Now this jacket is in my Amazon storefront and it is the best. And because especially on Friday, it's going to be in the 50s and very windy, I think I may be very happy that I have packed that. Now over here, I have kind of 
this pile of my um, my camera equipment, some extra hand warmers that may or may not come. And then I have my uh, waiver in there and my um, magic bands. I have my little backpack that will go with me to the expo because that's far more comfortable than the drop bag. And again, check my other video about that. I have my park touring bag. I have my ball caps. And then over here, this is a hot water bottle or an ice pack. And I just ordered this on Amazon and I'm hoping I have room for it because some of you know, I have no cartilage in my right knee. And so having a um, thing for ice, because we are in a villa, we'll have an ice maker in our freezer and I'll be able to ice my knee in between the 10K and the half marathon. And then I've just packed some coffee filters for the room. Look at this, such organized chaos. I don't know how organized it is. Let's see if I can get this all in a carry-on. I am not sure. <laughs> fit everything in there. Um, I'm not necessarily happy with how packed to the gunnels it is, but um, I was, and I even have like some room in here. I may try to fit some more smaller items. See how I've got some unused space in there, but that may be where my metals will go on the way back. So I'm going to show you guys. Be funny if I unclipped this and like my whole, it's like a Disney cartoon. Everything just came flying out. But um, I did pare down slightly. I took out like a hat and I am not taking that red fleece. I'll do my, um, I did bring those tech blankets from past run Disney events and those are in here. So these are the little pom-poms that will go on my shoes for my Tinkerbell outfit. Um, this is my visor, which I showed you guys. My shoes are in here my ball caps, my throwaway, uh, the coffee filters, my shoes. Um, these are the uh, capris to wear for the races. These are the socks to wear for the races. I just bought a new pair of Balegas, which by the way, these are the best socks in the whole world. I absolutely love those. Love, love, love. And then over on this side, open this up. And I am using my Away Bigger Carry On this trip. This compression packing cube, which those, if you guys are not using those, those make such a huge difference for how much I can fit in my bag. Um, in here, I have my underwear, uh, my bras, and my swimsuit and cover-up. All of that is in that compression packing cube. These are the Ziplocs where I've divided out the individual outfits for race day. So I have everything that goes with each outfit in individual Ziplocs. Now, I did end up bringing the Tinkerbell top as well, although I am late, as I was getting dressed or packed or putting everything in here, I guess, I think I do wanna go with Mrs. Incredible for the half marathon. I think it will be fun to switch it up so I'm not in the same color both days. Um, so I've packed both just in case, but we'll see what I wanna do. There is that packet I told you about with all my race day stuff. There's my flip flops and there is my compression packing cube with my um, regular clothes and my pajamas in it. Now over here, excuse my not very well made bed, tacky. Over here, I've got my away 
um, secondary carry-on bag. I love this bag. No affiliate link. I had a code a long time ago, but it expired. It's filled to overflowing. And as you guys can see, it's fine. Like it's not, I'm not worried about it at all. Um, I do love this bag because it has the trolley handle that will go over my suitcase. The only thing I need to add in here is my little travel wallet. And I already have my race waiver in here. And then this is where I have all of my cosmetics, my liquids bag and my camera equipment. And I'll just show you guys, I'm just sort of like blown away at how much I was able to fit in here. Every time I use this bag, I'm like, this bag is ridiculous. It holds so much. So there is my regular camera that I'll be vlogging with. There is my Trex Titanium headphones case, my little drawstring bag for the expo, my liquids bag, my um, bottle that will be for the race. And actually, I might be able to squeeze that in there. So I think I'm gonna transfer that to over there because this is just a little too full for me. I have my swell bottle in there. Um, this is the uh, tripod that I use when I'm vlogging. Over here, I have all of my cables and my Osmo Pocket, which I hope to use to do some filming during the race. My makeup bag is in there and all of it fit. And I can't believe it all fit. I'm, I'm just, I'm in shock. Okay, you guys, I am stunned. I fit everything that I showed you with the exception of that one red fleece blanket. I was able to fit in these two bags. It is a testament once again to the away bag number one, although I think I probably could have fit almost everything into the Go Penguin as well. But this away bag, I just love. And again, it's not an affiliate. It just holds a lot of stuff. And because it's hard shelled, it enables me to really like pack things into little nooks and crannies. And then this secondary bag is just a champ, again, with holding everything that I need. There are a couple of things I need to throw in there at the last minute. One that I'm really worried I'm going to forget is the charger for my watch. And we will definitely need my Polar Watch to be working because that's what we'll be using to check our pace during the race. And because we wanna be sure that we are ahead of those 16 minutes per mile pacers, that's going to be super important. So I need to pack that. But other than that, I have everything that I need. Again, I'll be wearing a pair of shoes, obviously, <laughs> uh, my jeans and one of my jackets um, on the airplane. So that helped a little bit with the bulk. Uh, but considering the fact that I didn't do a trial run, which normally I do when I do these packing videos for you guys, and I know that's cheating, but I'll pack it all up first just to make sure that it fits. Not only did it all fit, but I've got a little bit of extra space, especially because I won't have that gray throwaway sweatshirt on the way back. I won't have, you know, the coffee filters. There's a few items that, you know, I'll be disposing of once I get there. I'm impressed with myself. Now I realize that I do this all the time. And so I really, if I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to packing for Run Disney after 11 years, then, then there's something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but still, every I this is maybe the best I've ever done. So the other benefit to packing a day ahead is this will give me tomorrow to just kind of double and triple check in my mind and make sure that I have everything. But I not only have everything I need, but I actually have an extra race outfit because I couldn't decide between Tinkerbell and Mrs. Incredible. Um, and all of it will be in a carry-on. Now, here is why I am so adamant about doing a carry-on only. It is not just, I, I don't even have like luggage fees because I can check a bag for free on Delta Airlines. It is because of the hassle of having to do, uh, you know, either curbside check your bag or sometimes that is an open and you have to go in. And both in Atlanta and in Orlando, that can take a very long time. And I really like being able to just get to the airport and go straight through TSA pre-check and get on my flight. And the same, and when I'm coming home, I like to not have to mess with any kind of bag check, any kind of nonsense at the counter. I can just go straight through security and I am back on my way. So that's just me. I have nothing against checking a bag. I have checked a bag many times, but over the years I have found that I prefer the convenience of just not having to mess with it. That's it. That's all I packed. I'm excited for a great girls weekend. I know we're going to have a fantastic time. I hope that you are subscribed and that you hit those little bell notifications. And if you'd like to support the channel down in the description box, I have lots of ways that you can do that. Have a great day. Be good to each other and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.